the first part in truly creating a new personal reality is overcoming your present personality. <laughs> you got to get beyond the normal thinking patterns, the normal uh, urges of action and habits to get beyond certain emotions that are residuals from the day before. That's the work right there. That's the part you have to overcome. So some days you just kind of slip in and it's magic because you've been practicing like having a great golf game or a great tennis game or a great run or, or, or uh, a great session of knitting. You're just, you're in your groove. Other days you got to work a little bit more for it. And for me, what I've learned is those hard days, the days that are the most challenging are always the most rewarding mm -hmm. because now you're uncompromising to an outcome. And if it takes you an hour to get beyond yourself, to find the present moment, because that's the only place where the unknown exists, the familiar emotions and hardwired patterns of the past are the known, the predictable future in trying to forecast the feeling of every event in our life, what people do unconsciously is also the known. There's only one place where the unknown exists and that's the present moment. You so, call it the generous present moment. Yeah, and I've just done it enough times and there are plenty of people in our work that have done it enough times to know when you're there and when you're not. Okay. And when you're not, it's very obvious because you, you've been there enough times. So it's just like hitting a tennis ball in a sweet spot. Okay. You lock in the something and that wholeness starts to happen and now you're no longer creating from polarity or duality or opposites, you know. Like, you know, people, you know, people, they create when they see they don't have something. Whether, hey, nice suit, I want one of those, right? And the moment I see that you have a nice suit and I start thinking, I want one of those, my brain naturally starts putting me in the equation. Next thing you know, I'm wearing your suit. Well, that's because we're wired to do that. So then we have this natural ability to create. The problem is, is after you imagine that, you open your eyes and you don't have it, people experience more lack. Well, we're not that good yet. <laughs> so then the act of practicing enough times and beginning to create the state in which you're so connected to the energy of your future. Now think about this. You're so connected to the energy of your future, you're no longer looking for it or waiting for it. You feel like it's already happened. The moment you get upset in traffic, the moment you start judging a coworker, you just disconnected from the energy of your future, and now you're back to the energy of your past. Now, <laughs> If you tell me it was that person that did it to you, I'd say to you, oh, you're back to the unconscious program of being a victim again. So then the person then goes, oh, when did I fall from, you know, that state? When did I lose it? Oh, it happened at three o'clock today. The next time that happens, what can I do differently? Now the person's moving through their challenges in their life with coherence, with rhythm. They're starting to begin to make strides and that they're no longer knee jerking to the people in their life that, that they've used emotionally to reaffirm their identity. Now this is the work because you look around to see if anybody's doing it and you don't see anybody else doing it. It's kind of this kind of lonely moment where you're realizing that I'm the only one doing this. That's that kind of moment that you realize that nobody understands you but you, right? And you can't even ask your friends for their opinion because they're gonna give you their opinion based on their own experiences. And it's that kind of moment where you have to draw in all your resources and, and begin to make up your mind. And uh, I've interviewed uh, hundreds and hundreds of people that have healed themselves from all kinds of health conditions. And one of the most important elements uh, that I see over and over again is when the person said, I just got to this point in my life where I made up my mind. And they made a decision with such firm intention that the amplitude of that decision carried a level of energy that was greater than the hardwired programs in their brain and the emotional conditioning in their body to the past. And their body responded to their mind in that instant. And the stronger the emotion or the stronger the intensity of that energy, the stronger they felt that energy, they came out of the resting state, the more they paid attention to the choice they were making. Right. We had a woman on the stage in our event just recently, 78 year old woman, very serious car accident, in a wheelchair, couldn't walk, couldn't speak, 
made up her mind. Like, this is it. I am here to change. It wasn't like 50% in, I hope this works. She was like, I made up my mind. And the decision became a, a moment in time that she never forgot. She will say to you, I know the moment I made up my mind. I know the moment I decided to change. That, think about it. That is the moment she moved her brain and body from the past present reality into a future present reality. What do I mean by that? People wake up in the morning and they, they don't feel anything. And all of a sudden, their brain is a record of the past. They start thinking about all their problems. And those problems are memories of certain people and objects and things at certain times and places. So the moment they start remembering their problems, they're thinking in the past. Well, every one of those problems has an emotion associated with it. So they start feeling unhappy. They start feeling discouraged. They start feeling victimized. Now their body's in the past. And if how you think and how you feel creates your state of being, that person's starting their day with their entire state of being in the past. So if they're living in the familiar past and they're in the known, they're going to create the predictable future. So they're going to run through a series of routine behaviors in their day and they're going to want to know the feeling of every experience in their life. Well, if you can predict the feeling of every experience in your life, that's more of the known. So now, the person who's now living in that future known reality, how are they going to change? Well, the moment you make a decision and you come out of your resting state and you begin to say, this I don't care what's going on in my life, environment. I don't care what people think, environment. I don't care how I feel, body. I don't care how long it takes time. I'm going to do this. And the hair on the back of your neck stands up. That's a new electrochemical signal to the body. This is the body saying he's serious this time. It's like jumping on a horse and wrapping your legs around and giving it a kick. The body's like, ooh, we're going to ride now. It's no longer, oh, geez, I think I'm going to change tomorrow. This is, a, this is a strong signal, and that becomes a long-term memory. That moment defines the person. So then the stronger the emotion, if the, if the emotion of inspiration is greater than the emotion of suffering from the past experience, the stronger the emotion they feel, the more they pay attention to the picture in their mind. We could say they're remembering their future, and they're beginning to brand that circuitry in their brain and send a new emotional signature to their body. And in a sense, they're creating a coherent, clear intention with an elevated, coherent, hard emotion. And now they're broadcasting a whole new signature. And that's dropping a big stone in a very placid lake. And here come the waves. That's moving right out into reality. And the person is beginning to change their energy. And nobody, nobody changes until they change their energy. And when they change their energy, they change their life. And what's the cool part? The cool part is you start seeing the breadcrumbs coming from the universe. You start saying, keep going, Brian. You're, you're, you're starting to see these synchronicities and these coincidences and these opportunities. And be say, 
I'm not doing anything. Well, of course you're not doing anything like in the same way you've done everything. You're changing your energy and now it could be that simple in the present moment you start seeing feedback coming into your world. I think that's what people want and you could be and you could have a master's or a doctorate degree, you could have a high school education, you could be overweight, you could be underweight, you could be sick, you could be healthy, you could be young, you could be old. It any skin color, I've seen it on all different people, all different races, all different size, all different shapes, all different diets. Nobody is so special to be excluded from that phenomenon. Well, it takes a little bit of training. I mean, knowledge is the forerunner to experience. So I now know that if you give people the right information, and as, I, as I've said in the past on your show, science is that language, and you can combine the quantum model and neuroscientific model with neuroplasticity and neuroendocrinology and psychoneuroimmunology and epigenetics and electromagnetism and all those wonderful different branches of science and build a new model of understanding. The person has to be able to explain that model. If they can't explain it, Brian, it's not wired in their brain. So they can't assign meaning to what they're doing. They leave it up to conjecture, they leave it up to hope, they leave it up to wishing, praying, wanting. That's, that's the old model. But when they understand what they're doing and why, and they can articulate it, they're installing the neurological hardware in their brain in preparation for the experience so they'll understand how to do it better. It's, and, and make it so simple right. that it's not about making it complicated. What it's about is eliminating everything else that's not part of the formula. So stop wondering why it hasn't happened. Start, a, stop analyzing and judging yourself. Stop saying, I can't, it's too hard. Those are the very things that are standing in the way between you and your future. So you come up against yourself. Well, what do most people do when they come up against themselves at home in their meditation? They say, I can't meditate. They get up, they get on their cell phone, they quit. Yeah. They get up, they turn the TV on, they get up, they do whatever, have a cup of coffee, whatever. They're, they're, they, they haven't gone past that point because they don't understand that they should. So then when you begin to create a model of understanding and the person can explain it, they're wiring it in their brain. Now, as they install the neurological hardware in their brain, they're priming their brain for the experience. So then you give them the instruction and they can understand what they're doing and why, and you set up the conditions in their environment where they feel safe enough to create. Now we take them to the next level and the experience then begins to change their brain. It begins to change their body. It begins to downregulate certain genes, upregulate other genes. And you may have a good meditation. You may not have one that's so great. But if I said to you, now, Brian, what did you do really well in that last meditation that you love about yourself? Explain that to me. And you can articulate what you did really well. I guarantee When it comes time to do it again, you'll do it again. Then if I said to you, if you had another opportunity to do it again, what would you do differently? What would you bring? What would you improve on? What would you work on? And if you can articulate that, 
I guarantee you, you're going to become conscious of those unconscious things that you were once unconscious of, and now you're going to go a little further. And when you stretch a person a little further past that point where they normally stop, that unknown, that's where the magic happens. So in the beginning, you step out into the unknown, it feels uncomfortable. But if you keep applying what you're learning, we've seen this over and over again and, and for years now. The person gets beyond themselves. There's this kind of dramatic shift that takes place in a collective of a thousand people or 1,500 people. Now the energy in the room's changing. Now people are getting it. There's creating more coherence. They're, they're starting to break through. And now give them the opportunity to demonstrate how powerful they really are. And you will be surprised on what you see. And it comes in any shape, any age, any sickness. I mean, you can't tell me you're too sick to do this work any longer. You can't tell me you're too old to do this work. Uh, we now have a testimonial booth uh, at our week-long events because uh, people have so many amazing, great stories. I mean, they're so, they're so good uh, that now we have so much testimony that a lot of people are going to our website and just watching the stories of people tell their stories of how they healed of all these health conditions and the doctors told them they weren't going to make it or they created wealth or whatever. I think that's so important because when you see that person on the stage and they're telling their story and it's not a Hollywood version of, of triumph, they lost everything, they got worse, you know, everybody gave up on them, you know, they, they were in and out of the hospital, you know, they tried this, they tried that, and all of a sudden they start telling their story and you see how they started to make the changes and they started feeling better and they started, their blood values started to improve a little bit and their blood values got worse and then they went back again and, and then, they, you know, they come out the other side and it's a 64-year-old woman, you know, with Parkinson's disease that can't swallow, that can't blink her eyes, that can't chew, that can't stand up, can't blow her nose. And in one incident, she's telling the story of how she's standing up in front of the audience, how she can blow her nose, chew, swallow, blink, all that stuff. Uh, you're looking at her going, wow, well, she doesn't look much different than me or doesn't look very special or... She looks like a normal person you're going to identify. And I look out in the audience when people stand on the, on the stage and tell their story. And there's a lot of tears uh, because they're speaking truth. They're the example of truth. They're, they're possibility right in front of them. And that shift that takes place in that moment in the event is dramatic. I hope you loved this amazing and inspiring speech by Dr. Joe Dispenza and you will choose to connect with your future. I am sure you'll be motivated to apply this advice to your life and find the courage to start making changes to step into your desired future. It's all about you. We are continuing with our daily practice of completing the inspiring quotes. In the previous video we were looking for two words of Joe Dispenza's quote. The quote goes like this. Gratitude becomes the emotional signature that it's already happened. Gratitude is the ultimate state. The correct answer is of receiving. So gratitude becomes the emotional signature that it's already happened. Gratitude is the ultimate state of receiving. Congratulations to everyone with the correct answer. This one wasn't so easy, but since I know you love Joe Dispenza, today's quote is also from Dr. Joe Dispenza. We are looking for two words. So the quote goes like this. The moment you decide to no longer think the same way, act the same way or live by the same emotions, it's going to... Write your answers in the comments below the video and tell me if you love this video and our new way of ending the videos. If you like this video, give your thumbs up and share it with your friends. Even if you're not sure what the correct answer is, try and guess. The first one with the correct answer is the winner. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button and don't miss any of new videos and new challenges. If you really like what we do here and want to support us, you can join our channel and our community for a symbolic fee and gain many other additional features. You can do that by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button. Or you can click on the link in the description of this video. Stay good and have a great day!